Hey guys, this is Ruben Duo with Andaz. I'm here with Rebecca. So Rebecca, you are an author, you're a journalist, and you're also an entrepreneur. Um, talk to us a little bit about Startup Asia. Startup Asia is about the whole Startup Asia trend. I think what we're seeing today is a movement from the west to the east and all these emerging markets and the innovation hubs that are developing in China and India. So Startup Asia is all about these innovation trends that are bubbling forth in these new Silicon Valleys of the world. So what are some of the trends that you're seeing? I, we're seeing from the original copycats. Uh, they copied everything from Amazon, mm. Google, Facebook, yeah, YouTube, all these clones, right? Yeah. It, the whole idea was copy to China right. or copy to India, right. and it worked very well. And it kind of works, yeah? Yeah, Some it money works. Some money there. Yeah, yeah, a lot of these companies, they went public on NASDAQ or newer stock exchange, but now today it's, it's a new generation, right. more innovation that's coming from uh, native entrepreneurs, not so much the returnees. Right, so are, are, should we be threatened here in the United States of America? No, I don't think so, because I think it's a global world today. Yeah, and well you know, said. we're all so close together and interconnected and all entrepreneurs are doing business in multi markets. So. so speaking of global, give us some of your sort of trends and some of your insight that you're seeing on a global basis. On a global basis, I think emerging markets are where it's at. It's not only China and India, but also Brazil and mm. Russia. And I'm finding today that the startup story has gone global. So for instance, Silicon Roundabout in, in London, uh, Silicon Rainforest in Brazil, uh, Silicon Harbor in Hong Kong, um, and so forth. It, uh, Silicon Alley in New York. It, it's just amazing how this story has gone global so quickly over the past decade. Yeah, tell us about your books. Uh, my books are really my passion, uh, my inspiration. Um, I went to China in the early days and interviewed uh, some of the well-known entrepreneurs like Jack Ma of Alibaba and Joe Chen of Renren before these people were well-known, before these companies, these people became millionaires, billionaires. And so Silicon Dragon is a story of all of these profiles of all of these entrepreneurs in many different spaces, their whole life story, what inspired them, you know, what motivated them, how they got their company started. And I've continued to follow that story. So my second book continues to follow that story from China to India and other markets in Asia. Um, it's just a quickly evolving yeah. uh, story. It's, it's difficult to keep up with the pace. That's exciting, that's exciting. So we have a lot of uh, entrepreneurs, a lot of small businesses, a lot of authors, a lot of journalists, a lot of uh, scrappy entrepreneurs. You know, could you give us some advice on how we project ourselves and make ourselves successful? Um, as scrappy entrepreneurs? <laughs> um, well, I think you have to have, you're, you really have to have a differentiator. Something that sets you apart, that's a higher barrier to entry that other people cannot jump over that hurdle and get in there and compete with you. So whatever it is that you feel the strongest about, that feels that you can that you, you can own that position, that's what you should go so for. Def defensure, the, uh, dif to make yourself different and unique, and I think also defensibility is very important. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you so much for your Thank time. Thank you.